Okay, I'm doing a little video here. This is the uh, <coughs> Dell Inspiron P25T series. To be exact, mine's a P25T001, the first issue. Now, uh, the reason I'm doing this, you get the uh, Dell battery charger not recognized message. I wish I would have taken a picture of it before I fixed it. But you'll know, because basically you go to plug in your charger. Well, the laptop won't power up, the battery's dead. You plug in your charger, and when you plug in your charger, it tells you that the uh, Dell power adapter is not recognized, and the battery doesn't want to charge, and it's just all messed up, okay? Well, this one's my daughter's. The first issue we had, if you wiggled her plug, it would cut out. And the first thing I noticed, see how that plugs nice and straight on hers? On her old charger, where is it here? It had been dropped a few times and you can see it's a little cocked. Look at that bulge right there. So I'm like, oh, okay, this is an easy fix. It's probably the bad adapter, right? Let me give you a close up of what my power supply is to match up to yours or in case if you need one. And I also did a quick Google search and that seems to be the most common thing. Well, I get her uh, her new brick and it didn't fix it. So let me show you what ended up fixing it. Okay, if you flip it upside down, you are going to see eight screw holes. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight and you got to basically use a little micro phillips head like for a watch battery or a pair of sunglasses something like that okay and then once you get those screws out it could be made a little bit easier but it doesn't actually pop out where you think it would where the uh color is a little bit different on the red It actually pops out right below the keyboard. Ah, I'm trying to hold this where you can see. See on the top of the USB ports where I still have it kind of opened up? It goes all around and around the keyboard. Mine's already starting to close up. But what you got to do... That's not very good lighting. Okay. So, what you have to do, you got to take, you got to find a smaller flathead. Okay, it's not quite like a, a micro flathead, but it's small. Let me put my finger by it so you get an idea. And what would actually be better is if you use like a nylon guitar pick. Or uh, those little cell phone tools for opening up cell phones, which I have, but I just chose to do this because it worked pretty good. And you got to find an area to get underneath it. And you basically are going to work it around. And very gently, it's going to pop loose. And what you will find, when you get to this corner, at least on mine, there's a little four or five wire connection that goes like to about here. And mine was like cocked out. The right side was halfway out. So I just took that, snapped it back in, and voila, everything worked. Even my charger worked, my old charger. So I guess my daughter's got a spare. Well, except for that, it's getting kind of beat up. May not be a good idea. I'm going to see if I could get in there and peek for you. I don't want to unsnap it again if I don't have to, but let me take a look. Okay, now if you try to pop the whole thing off, there's a little more work it wants to stick but you can just pry this corner 
okay? And here's your little charging piece. It's got the uh, another little Phillips that you could unscrew it if you need to replace yours, if yours got cracked, or if you want to try other options. But you could see that wire right there that's got the tag. And that little white connector right there, I just pushed it in. You could definitely tell it was out. When you see yours, look at it before you push it and see if it looks like it's cocked out or not. Just so that if you push it and it doesn't work, you know, you, you at least ruled it out. I mean, you want to see it. I'd push it anyways and test it. But before you just push it, look and make sure it's out. Otherwise, the problem may come back on you. But hopefully that helps you out. Then you just close it back up. Work all the way around. Snap it into place. All the way around. When you do that, and I should have made sure of this but before I did it, but I'm recording. Make sure those little side buttons push okay. And mine do. I also tightened up my screw because my screw had gotten a little bit loose on my charging port. I have a feeling it fell off my daughter's bed, plugged in, hit the floor and probably bent her little charger connector and, you know, maybe jolted that. Who knows? It could have been dropped at any time, but hopefully that helps you out if you're trying to troubleshoot this uh, laptop. You know, I just wanted to show you in case if you're not comfortable going in from the side and you want to take the whole cover off, there's a center screw right in the middle here. And you would have to pry that little tab off which probably is sticky and then you would screw that last screw and then it comes right off. I just looked at a quick how-to video, Dylan Spiron 11-3168 but that's a quick way if you want to see a better more detailed way of opening it up. He had a good video but I actually probably should have watched that first and then I would have known that but who knows maybe this would have gotten messed up Sometimes those don't like the restick, and you got to fight them a little bit. But that may make it easier for you if you got to really get inside this one. Oh yeah, and this guy, that parts-people.com, they say they sell parts for it. So if you think you need to replace your charging, that little wire, or maybe the charging board, you can.